Oh, not this house. Should we be kind of careful? Like, we're walking in the middle of the road. This one, right? 36? Hmm. Usually, from what I know about this game, if we walk a little bit further, there no, should no, be no. those bonuses. This is no time to explore the district. <laughs> okay, maybe not this time. Oh, what about this guy? Oh, poor homeless guy. Whoa. All right, I guess we can't do anything. It's rude to go inside. It's rude to go inside by ourselves. I'll give it five rings. <laughs> Okay, fine! Oh, what a creepy looking house already. Is there anyone here? Bonus points in here, that's what. An old wood stove. Hmm, the coffee pot is still hot. I bet she's gonna come out of nowhere. I'm scared. Whoa. Ravens? Do you have a raven? Are those... Are those crows in the cages? Why are you so surprised? Do people not normally not have crows? An old wickerwork chest of drawers. This one raven, Ish, man. Pretty gloomy pets. Oh, they're stuck here. These are huge cages. Is anyone at home? What's with this camera angle? Oh, that's totally not spooky. Look at the walls. Holy crap. A stuffed crow. So was that thing that keeps watching us a crow or a raven? I'm not too sure. Candlesticks, an old grimoire. Weird atmosphere. Voodoo magic. The clock has stopped. A sort of African totem. Ooh, stuffed out. Hello? Are... are you Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Father Marcus Kane sent me here. I have a problem. I need to talk to her about it. A problem? <laughs> and who on earth doesn't have problems? I have a special one. One need not have eyes to see. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. I don't want to be rude and like look through her room, so I guess we'll just do that. <laughs> How do I open the damn door? Are we opening the door with her knees? <laughs> oh my god. The
bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? Of course. You don't even know me. You've no reason to believe me. I'm sorry for having bothered you. I, I shouldn't have come. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Does she live by herself? How does she get around when she's blind? I mean, not that I'm like looking down on her or anything, but... It's much more tough to get around in your own home even. When you don't have sight. You're welcome! That one? This one doesn't need to be fed? Oh, that middle one didn't have anything, okay. Can I not feed any more? There's still a... Okay. I guess not. <laughs> Do you have any memory of what could have triggered your loss of control? Did you drink something, hear a sound, or see an image which seemed out of the ordinary? I have no idea. In fact, I can't remember anything that happened to me from the time I entered the place to when I woke up again afterwards. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes, I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision, such as a symbol or a sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. What does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. What's a sitting room? I'm gonna have to assume it's the one right... right across from this room. Apparently not. Okay, maybe back here then? Oh, she's gonna use her voodoo table. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Wait, where are the candles? She just said a whole bunch of things really quickly. What? I can't remember all that. Uh, something about the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Candle. Where do we get the actual candles? Uh, old plates on the shelf. Wow, don't be so judgmental, man. Nothing in particular. Cupboards in here? That little cupboard? I don't think the... I don't think so, but... 
Yeah. This cupboard? This cupboard? Why don't they keep all their candles in the same place? Sheets on all the furniture, as if the house hasn't been lived in for a long time. Miss, I'm sorry, can you tell me where your candles are? Excuse me, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Sounds like the candles should only be in one place. Ah, oh, okay, I already had them. Perfect. We're almost ready to begin. Turn off the light, close the curtains, and sit down next to me. Spooky. Turn off the light. That didn't change anything. <laughs> the only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Yes, I do. Give me your hands. Now, close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious and let me enter there. That's it. We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant, just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts and wander freely through your memory. Where are you, Lucas? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. I've gone into the restaurant. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? 
I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. I'm standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I'm... I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I... I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. It's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now? What's happening, I, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? <sighs> oh, shit! It's essential that you keep your concentration, Lucas. You must empty your mind of all thoughts. Let's begin again. Are you shitting me from the beginning? Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. He just said that the waitress doesn't see the guy. Why is the waitress giving him a coffee? The waitress has brought him his coffee, but she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now what's happening?
Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Nasta Noctilan, Nekatan Nekli, Kortniklan, Niklan, Nekmesta, Apanin, Ohni, Niklan, Pano. I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. He's going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. That must mean the homeless guy saw this dude then. But I think it's just me, right? What the frick? You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Mark my words, she's gonna be dead tomorrow.